Hi students, in this session, I am going to teach you six excellent tricks to solve bond angle questions very easily. You will come to know the exceptions also, how you can do. See how many tricks you will learn. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 tricks and I will show you so many questions you will solve on your own fatafat without any difficulty. You will solve all these questions on your own. So, please watch this video up to the end without any difficulty. You can learn the bond angle questions and you can solve the bond angle questions. Let us see trick number 1. If no lone pair is present, and hybridization is different. What you do is, you know, you first understand it along with paper and pen. If you do along with me, it, it will be superb. If no lone pair is present and hybridization is different. For example, see CH4, BF3, BCL2 like this. It's there, right? Um, first to solve the bond angle question, you should have an idea about the um, how to find hybridization. Okay. Now I will show you how to find hybridization. See, these are the elements for your understanding. I wrote beryllium, magnesium, calcium, strontium, barium, 2A group. So, 2 valence electrons. Boron family, 3 valence electrons. Carbon family, 4. Nitrogen family, 5. Oxygen family, 6. Fluorine family, halogen family, 7. And noble gases, 8 valence electrons. So, you should have an idea of these elements and how many electrons in the valency shell. After that, you should know how to find the hybridization in a short way. For example, I'll give you, I'll teach you for few, one or two examples. First, methane is there. How, what is the group number? Carbon is having, it is 14th group or 4th A or it is having 4 electrons in the valency shell. So, first write 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Each hydrogen can form one bond. Then, Total number of bonds how many? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, steric number is 4 means hybridization is sp3. Right. For example, uh, it is NH3 or BF3. BF3, how to find hybridization? Boron is having 3 electrons in the valency shell. So, write first 3 like this. Then each fluorine forms 1-1 one, one bond. Total number of bonds are 3. So, steric number is 3 means hybridization is sp2. You should have an idea about how to find hybridization. If you don't know, I will give the link about hybridization trick to find in a description. You go through that. Once you know how to find hybridization, let us see. If no lone pair is present and hybridization is different. As I told you, uh, methane hybridization is sp3, bf3 is sp2, bcl2 is sp. In such case, sp hybridization is bond angle is 180 degree, sp2 is uh, 120 degree. SP3 is 109.28 minute, 109 degree 28 minute. So, which will be having more bond angle, SP hybridized one, after that SP2, after that SP3. Now, let us see trick number 2. This is no lone pair should be and hybridization is different. Trick number 2. If hybridization is same, if you observe methane, Ammonia, H2O, all are sp3 only. You find it. Using the trick, you find hybridization. I will give the trick for hybridization and shapes. Uh, how many lone pairs, how to find also in description. Here, there is zero lone pair, no lone pair here. In ammonia, one lone pair. In water, two lone pairs. If hybridization is same, and there is lone pairs different 0, 1, 2, 3. In such case what happens is if lone pairs increases then repulsions increases bond angle decreases. What is the meaning of this? Observe in case of ammonia here lone pair is there. In case of water there are two lone pairs. According to VACPR theory, lone pair, lone pair repulsions are more than lone pair, bond pair. Then bond pair, bond pair. Means whenever more lone pairs is there, it is starts rippling with each other. Once it starts rippling, it comes closer. This is lone pair, this is bond pair. 
okay in vscp are there i'll teach you ha huh? this is loan if you don't know this loan pair loan pair repels then this comes closer these two will repel when these two repel this comes closer okay so when more loan pairs it creates repulsions then bond angle decreases simply loan pair increases means bond angle decreases repeat everybody loan pair increases bond angle decreases this is when uh, hybridization is same now see the trick number 3 if hybridization is same loan pairs also same bonded atom same everything is same only central atom is different in this case ammonia case and ph3 here also sp3 hybridization here also sp3 hybridization here one lone pair is there here also one lone pair but what i want to tell you is electronegativity what happens in a group top to bottom nitrogen phosphorus arsenic antimony bismuth top to bottom electronegativity decreases if central atom electronegativity decreases then uh here which is having more electronegativity this is having more electron when central atom electronegativity is more it pulls the electrons towards the central atom when it draws the electrons towards the central atom then this electron this bond pairs is there you no know, they start repelling with each other when it starts repelling with each other then bond angle increases so simply to say central atom electronegativity increases bond angle increases nh3 ph3 nh3 is having more bond angle is it clear now let us see trick number 4 here hybridization same lone pair same central atom also same only bonded atoms are different in a before case this and before case are same but before case central atom is different but in this case bonded atom is different like of2 oh2 central atom is same but which are connected surrounding atoms or bonded atom is different in such cases very very important pay attention when electronegativity of bonded atoms increases ba means bonded atom increases whenever electronegativity increases of bonded atom it draws the electrons away from central atom so once it draws the electron away from the central atom then central atom this bonds electrons go away from central atom so repulsions decreases very very important if suppose in this case this bonded electrons are not away from central atom close to central atom when it is close to central atom this bond pair this bond pair repulsions is more when repulsions is more then bond angle will be more so in this case oh2 bond angle is more here i want to tell you an important exception that exception is ocl2 if you see ocl2 this is oh2 right next one is ocl2 next one is of2 in which case electronegativity of bonded atom is more fluorine it is 4 so here this is around 3.5 this is 2.1 here electronegativity of fluorine is more so it draws electrons towards itself more then it goes away from the central atom which one electron pairs in such case bond angle is less here is the expected bond angle but exception is ocl2 comes to the first position so the correct bond order is ocl2 then oh2 then of2 you should remember this exception why because of large chlorine atoms when large chlorine atoms are there it creates the repulsions so that bond angle increases now let us see trick number 5 a little speed i am teaching you so that you can cover in short time trick number 5 if central atom hybridization is same you calculated here sp3 you got here also sp3 here also sp3 same hybridization there is no lone pairs zero lone pairs means surrounding atoms are identical see fluorine chlorine bromine or hybridization is same then no matter what central atom or uh, what bonded atom bond angles are always same beautiful trick it is what is that my dear students perfect geometry which are having which are having here 
which are having perfect geometry means there is no lone pair should be hybridization should be same in such cases ccl all are having same bond angle okay this is trick number 5 number 6 if hybridization is same bonded atoms also same and resonance is there equivalent resonance so4 minus 2 po4 minus 2 here also hybridization sp3 here also hybridization is sp3 you should know how to find hybridization uh, that link i'll give in description just 3 minutes video watch it 2 minutes to 3 minutes that's it here you see in this case in this case bond angle is same why hybridization is same bonded atoms also same and uh resonance is there equal resonance so hybridization is a uh, bond angle is same okay now i will show you the questions just how easily you will solve you know fatafat you solve let us see the quest first question h2o h2s h2s e h2te which is uh, find the hybridization you get sp3 in all the cases okay sp3 hybridization sp3 hybridization uh, you will get two lone pairs in everything so same bonded atoms same bonded atoms same bonded atoms but your lone pair is there same lone pair same hybridization same uh, bonded atoms but central atom is different as electronegativity is more then bond angle is more got it what you do is till now i told you the uh, tricks right now take one paper and pen question try next try next try next try come on next take screenshot come on these uh, questions i will show you question by question in the next session okay check your answers you will be able to solve so easily understand ha huh? my name is komali i am your chemistry mentor thank you so much for watching this video see the solutions in the next video